Good morning. Welcome to today's 30-minute Hatha Yoga practice. We will move through a series of poses and will be done in about 30 minutes. You probably want to have some background, some experience in yoga for this practice. If you don't, if you're completely brand new, I recommend checking out one of the gentle or beginner yoga practices that I have on my YouTube channel or elsewhere on this Facebook page. So, but if you have any experience with yoga and are familiar with downward dog and sun salutation A, you'll be just fine in this one. Um, the only prop that you'll need for today is a folded blanket. If you know that you use blocks um, in some extra places for some extra support, you can always grab those, but I will just be using the folded blanket for today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we will begin today sitting up on our folded blanket to help support the length of the spine. And we'll rest our hands on our lower belly, drawing the lower belly up, relaxing the shoulders. And if you'd like, you can gently allow your eyes Close. And we'll begin by building a ujjayi breath. So inhale as you normally would and exhale out your mouth as if you are fogging up a mirror. Closing the back of the throat and making a sound. And after a few times with the mouth, you can begin to attempt to restrict the breath to the nostrils and see if on the exhale, you can mimic that same sound and sensation, closing off the back of the throat. And using that ocean sounding sound as you exhale out your nose. Now see if you can keep that same sensation, but relax it a little bit. So not so intensely forcing the breath out. But that same ha ah, sensation and feel that you had before. And that is the breath we will attempt to keep throughout today's practice. If you forget, I will remind you many times to keep breathing and that's your cue to return to that ujjayi breath. And you can bring your hands to your knees and allow your eyes to slowly open. And we'll go ahead and interlace the hands and bring them straight up, reaching toward the ceiling. So shoulder blades are moving down while the hands are moving up. A couple breaths, softening the shoulder blades on the exhale, growing tall on the inhale. Then interlace your hands behind you, lift the chest, lift the chin, gentle back bend. And interlace other thumb on top, reach back up. And on an exhale, bring the hands forward and round the upper back, allowing the chin to fall and the belly to pull in. And then bring the arms back up and release them to, you, to your side. And we'll do a gentle spinal twist from here, placing the left hand on the right knee, right hand back behind you, sit grounding through both sitting bones, gently trip, twist to the right. Or 
return to neutral and switch sides. Right hand on the left knee, left hand behind you. Pressing through both sitting bones, rooting down to rise up and twist to the left. And come back to center and we're going to move on to hands and knees, tabletop position. You can unfold the blanket a little bit and place your knees on the blanket. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees. And we'll go ahead and do thread the needle pose. So we're going to extend the right arm straight up, opening the chest to the right. And then sweep the right hand behind the left, bringing it as far to the left as you have space, maybe even bringing the shoulder all the way down, resting the right side of your face on the mat, and walking the left fingertips forward until your arm is straight. And continue to breathe. Good. Walk the left hand back, and as you straighten the left hand, the right arm comes back to where it was, and then we extend the left arm up, opening the chest to the left, and then place the left hand behind the right, bringing those fingertips as far to the side as you'd like, and you can stay up or you can drop down to the left shoulder, lie the left side of your face on your mat, and walk your right fingertips forward, trying to keep your hips squared and continuing to breathe. Walk the right hand back, straighten the right hand, and bring the left hand back into tabletop position. From here, we'll walk both hands forward, Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, and come into downward facing dog. Your knees can be bent here at first. And we lift the hips up and back. Press through all ten of your fingers. And you can begin to pedal the feet, straightening one and then the other. And coming up high onto the balls of the feet, see if you can work your legs towards straight. And then slowly lower the heels toward the mat. And if you need to bend your legs as your heels get closer to the mat, you're welcome to. Gently shake your head, yes and no. And then walk your hands back toward your feet into a forward fold and have a bit of a bend here in your knees. Let the weight should be forward so that your toes are heavy and your heels are light. Bend your knees as much as you'd like here. Good. And then press through the feet on an inhale. Sweep your arms up toward the ceiling. And exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Good. You can set the blanket off to the side and then walk up to the front of the mat and we will begin to build a sun salutation. We'll go through three sun salutations moving with the breath. So we'll inhale to sweep the arm up and exhale to fold forward, toes heavy. Inhale to pull the crown of the head forward. Bring your hands up to your shins or your thighs, making a flat back. And then exhale to round forward, stepping one foot and then the other foot back. So you have options here. You can stay up. You can drop down to your knees. A good option if you're pregnant. Either one of those is fine. And from here, we're going to a chaturanga. So we'll bring the elbows straight back. If you're pregnant, just go halfway down 
and then press into downward dog. Everybody else with either your knees down or your knees up in plank. The elbows, brush your side, and you slowly lower all the way down from the mat, uncurl the toes. And here you have the option to go into cobra or upward facing dog. If you're familiar with upward facing dog, you're welcome to do that. For today, I will cue cobra. So on an inhale, we'll lift the chest, press all 10 of the toes into the ground, and we'll exhale to lower, and we'll go up into downward facing dog. And you can do that with your body straight, going through a push up, or you can go through bent knees, tucking the toes, lifting the hips. We'll take a full breath in downward facing dog, and then we'll step or walk to the front of the mat, inhaling back into that half flat back position, exhale to fold, inhale, sweep the arms up, pressing through the feet, and exhale, and bring your hands together at your heart. And now we'll go through that two times without stopping, moving with the breath. Inhale to sweep the arms up, and exhale to fold forward. Inhale to come up to flat back, exhale, step back, and lower through Chaturanga. And then go into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog on the inhale, and exhale to press into Downward Facing Dog. One full breath here. And then step or walk to the front of the mat. Inhale to flat back. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, hands to the chest. One more time. Inhale to sweep the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, step back. And lower through Chaturanga. And either press into up dog or cobra. And exhale. Press back into downward facing dog. Take one breath. And then step or walk to the front of the mat. Inhale up to flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to sweep the arms up. And exhale. Hands. Very good. From here, we're going to step back into crescent pose. So with your feet staying on a railroad track rather than a tightrope, step the right foot back and begin to bend the left leg. You can have a little bend in your right leg as well. Both hips point forward. The hips are lifting. This frontal hip bones lift so the tailbone can extend down toward the ground. And keeping that sensation there, you can begin to straighten the back leg. And then move just a little bit deeper into the left. Arms can come up by your ears. And on an exhale, we'll turn the chest to the left towards that front left leg that's bent and open. We're doing a revolved crescent. And we'll move into a deeper twist. If you're pregnant, you can stay here. Otherwise, bring your hands to heart center and place your right elbow on the outside of your left. Press your hands together, open your chest, and take a few breaths. Lift that right thigh up toward the ceiling. Press into the left heel. Good. Come back up to crescent. And then step the feet together. Take a breath. And we'll repeat on the other side. So feet still on railroad tracks. Step the left foot back. And come into crescent. So here we can start with a bend in the left leg, lift the frontal hip, hip points, tailbone reaching toward the ground, and keeping that sensation in your pelvis, begin to straighten 
the left leg and move a little deeper into the lunge. Arms can come up and then we'll open to the right toward the front leg. And you can either stay here or you can bring your hands to heart center and take the left leg and put it on the right side of your right thigh. Press the arms together. Broaden through the chest. Lift that left thigh and breathe. Hands back up, come into crescent, and then step the feet together. Very good. We'll bring the feet wide and prepare to come into a wide-legged forward fold. Toes point forward and maybe you can have a slight internal rotation of the feet. From here we'll bring the hands to the hips, lift through the chest, and then leading with the chest begin to fold forward. You can place your hands on the ground or on blocks, and the weight begins to shift forward into your toes. Your heels remain on the ground, but your heels are light. Arch, arches are lifted, thighs are engaged. So try not to let the weight shift back into the heels. You can walk your arms behind you using your fingertips to help you perhaps get a little bit deeper if you feel stable enough to do that. Bring the hands back in front of you and we'll walk the hands over toward the right foot. Move your chest over towards your right thigh. You will stretch specifically in the right leg. Again, try to keep the weight forward. And then walk your hands over to the left side and move your chest over to the left leg. Keep that weight moving forward and continue to breathe. And then walk your hands back to the center of the mat, bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips, and come up to stand. We'll heel, toe, the feet together. Take a breath, and we'll come into a balance pose. We're going to shift the weight into the left foot, and you can either come into tree pose with the foot on the ground, the calf or up to the inner thigh, or you can do like I am and grab hold of your right foot with your left hand and pull it up toward your left hip. And from here, you can bring your hands to your chest and bend that left leg. This time your heel is heavy. Breathe. Broaden through the chest and the collarbones, your shoulders moving down your back. And straighten the left foot, uncross the right, and switch your weight into the right foot. And again, you can come in to tree pose if that's what you prefer, or you can cross this right, the left foot over the right thigh, bring your hands to heart center, and sit back in that heel, bending the right leg, and coming into a balanced pose, so find a focal spot for your eyes. As you press your hands together, broaden through the collarbone and the chest. Keep your lower belly engaged. Breathing. Good. 
straighten the foot, leg, uncross. And then we'll come to the back of the mat, bring your feet mat width apart, turn your feet out to a 45 degree angle, and we'll come down into a low squat. So if you want to sit up on a block here or even on a chair, you're welcome to do that. If you're all the way down, your elbows are pressing your knees open, hands at heart center, and chest is wide and lifted. So be able to see a nice, if you can see yourself, line between the crown of your head and your tailbone. So you've got that nice flat back here. Good. We're going to press Put the left hand on the ground, farther to the left than your foot. And then we're going to bring the right arm up and revolve the chest slightly to the right. If this is too much on your elbows, you can bend that right arm or even bring it to your hip. Good. Come back to bring the hands to the chest. And then we'll put the right hand on the ground to the right of the right leg, and then extend the left arm up, turning the chest to the left while you use that right arm to keep that right leg open. Good. And come back to center. Very good. And place your hands back behind you. Bring yourself all the way to the mat and bring your legs together. And then we'll scoot ourselves back to the center of the mat here and we'll prepare to go into boat pose. So you can play in boat pose doing any variation that you're comfortable with. You're really wanting to pull the chest toward the thighs. And if you feel that chest moving away and rounding, go with a different variation that allows you to pull your chest forward toward your thighs. So we'll begin with hands back behind the legs or hands on the ground. Come up on the balls or to up onto the big toes. And then you can begin to play with lifting one foot at a time. Seeing how close towards straight you can get those legs while keeping the chest pulling toward the thighs. And then you can try lifting both. If you are more flexible and strong than I am in your legs, you might be able to get them all the way to straight without rounding your back. You can let go of your hand, legs if you'd like. But again, keep that chest pulling toward your thighs and breathe. If you're pregnant, obviously you want to skip this one. You can just go ahead and lie back on your back. And then slowly begin to lower the shoulders and the legs. Try to keep your legs off of the ground for a moment, shoulders and your feet for a few breaths. And then allow yourself to come all the way down to the mat. Bend the legs, bringing the heels toward the fingertips. And we're going to come into bridge pose, pressing through the feet. We're revolving the inner thighs in and down toward the ground, tilting the pelvis. So we're lifting those upper hip points like you would in a crunch. And that helps you not bring this work into your glutes. So press into the feet, lift the hips. You can either keep your hands on the ground or interlace and come up onto your arms and shoulders, bringing your shoulder blades together. Keep your knees from splaying out. Work on moving those inner thighs down toward the mat. Lift your frontal hip points up toward your rib cage. 
breathe. Release your hands, slowly lower your hips. We'll cross the right leg over the left, and you can stay here, or you can bring your hands behind your left knee and hug your left knee in towards your chest while flexing your feet and moving that right knee away from you. So left knee is coming in, right knee is moving away from you, and both feet are flexed. If your lower back is coming off the ground, maybe lower that left foot back to the ground. And switch sides, crossing the left over the right, and either staying here or bringing the right knee in towards your chest. Feet flexed, left knee moving away from you. Lower back pressed firmly against the ground. And then lower the right leg back to the ground, and you can come into the resting pose of your choice. So you can bring your heels wide and your knees together. You can roll onto your left side if you're pregnant. You can take your blanket and roll it and place it underneath your legs and extend your legs straight. If you're on your back, palms can be up toward the ceiling, and you can walk those shoulder blades. Together. And if it feels comfortable, you can allow your eyes to softly close. We'll just take a couple minutes here to allow our breath to be natural. Allow our bodies to come to stillness. And as our breath and our bodies slow down, relax, you might find that over time, your mind quiets a bit as well. And I'll bring you out in a couple minutes, but if you have more time, you're always welcome to just go ahead and shut this video off now and remain in this pose for as long as you like. And gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. If you're on your back, you can hug your knees into your chest. Allow your eyes to slowly open. And then roll onto your side. Use your hands to support you and come back up into a comfortable seated position. Well, thank you so much for joining me.
for today's Hatha Yoga practice. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll look forward to practicing with you again soon.